Good morning! I just put this hat on because my hair is so dirty. <laughs> oh, you guys, what is going on? Lots, actually. I don't have a tripod anymore, so like, let's, let's see if we can make one. Um, so I am here in the city and I've been here for a few days. Um, I think this is my third day here. I was going to stay for the whole week, but basically my news is that I I finally heard word back about what's going on with uh, my flight attendant job. So long story short, what happened was I got called back to work for April 1st. However, then the company said we're going to be offering a three month, 12 month or 18 month leave. And leaves are based by seniority. So you, you bid for it and it goes in order of seniority who gets to hold it. I was thinking I would for sure get it because they just would need people. There wouldn't be enough flying for people to work. Then they ended up pushing back the three month start leave from April to May, which really kind of messed with my life plans and, and pretty much everybody's. It was not a fun thing that happened. So then the company said, okay, we'll offer an April leave. So essentially, if you took the three month plus the April, you'd be out of work again for four months voluntarily, which I wanted to do because I'm so much enjoying this traveling and vlogging and video diarying is how I think about it. And, um, and dragon, you know, I'm in, we're enjoying each other, I think. <laughs> and, um, so I was, I was kind of upset about that start date being pushed back because if I go back to work in April, then why even take a leave after? If I go through all the effort of rehoming Dragon to a family home, he is not, it was always planned that Dragon would go to this home. Um, I didn't realize I would be this <laughs> attached to him when that time came. Um, but, but still, it's gonna be a matter of getting him acclimated there and, um, you know, just getting ready for work, then I might as well not even take the three month leave starting in May, which I don't even know if I would be senior enough to hold. I'm still deciding if I should withdraw my bid or not. I only have like a few days to decide. Um, so I don't know. It's it's hard to make life decisions. Also, the leave is unpaid, so there's that. And right now I'm not making enough on YouTube to support myself full time. So, um, so yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. I love that job, so I would go back no matter what. I just wasn't necessarily ready to stop doing this just yet. But it looks like I'm gonna have to, so so I guess what I was saying was I applied for the April leave and I was not senior enough to hold it. So um, I don't have an option except to go back to work in April. The only option would be to quit and I love that job. I'm not quitting until they force me out. So yeah, so basically that's where I'm at now. So I'm in Phoenix and if you haven't guessed yet, I think everybody already knew that. And I'm just trying to figure out what my next move is because the situation I'm in now was I came to Phoenix and I was gonna stay here until, um, until like almost halfway through March um, when my next paycheck came in because I've just been spending too much money on gas. And I, I don't have unlimited amounts of fun and funds so I was just gonna like not drive for a while just hang out in the city the uh, Phoenix has lots of street parking lots of parks to hang out at it's it's really not a bad place to do van life um, as far as urban van lifing so besides that it was really hot the last few days but other than that it's been great um 
But now, so I made Dragon's vet appointment for March 13th in San Diego. And I was really like thinking I was not gonna have to work April 1st. Like I really thought I was gonna get that leave. And now that I didn't, I am thinking I might just head back home to Minnesota because that's gas money I have to spend anyways. So it's not like I'm, you know, wasting money on that. Then I have weeks to get Dragon acclimated into his new home. Um, he's so important to me and that's so important to me. So, so I might do that and then see if I can get him uh, neutered back at home. So this week I'm going to, I follow a couple of girls, um, High Carb Hannah and Plantiful Kiki. And they're plant-based, like nutrition girls. They each lost like 70 pounds. Not that I don't have 70 pounds to lose, but I have a solid like 20 pounds that I kind of want to get rid of. And I really love their style of eating and it's meals that I implement often into my diet. However, I think I'm going to, this week I want to try it out. Like do you, I just try eating like them for a whole week. The thing is, is that means I'm gonna have to cook like pretty much every single meal, which is tough in the van. But just see how it feels, see if it works out for me. It's essentially just eating 50% vegetables on your plates and 50% starches. Um, you know, no processed food, no oils, lot less avocado than I eat, which I just bought four of them. So I'm like, ooh, maybe I can give them to someone here. Anyways, yeah, I'll link their videos down below if you're curious about like what kind of, um, like what kind of food it is. It's just whole food, plant-based, um, no processed, and then 50-50 non-starchy vegetables and your starch. Okay, so this is what I'm having for breakfast. Although, um, High Carb Hannah and Plantiful Kiki, I think, would both say not to use packaged oatmeal, but that's what I have. Also, I didn't want to spend all the time to boil, you know, steel cut oats. So we're using what we have. It's just gluten-free package, but it has like brown sugar and stuff in it. And then a bowl of asparagus because that's what veggies I had and they needed to be cooked today. And I still have half of them if I'm still hungry. Otherwise, I'm just going to use the rest for lunch. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was really not looking forward to having asparagus for breakfast. It's really good. I just did salt and garlic powder. A little too much salt, but this is really good asparagus. So this is pretty much, oh man, my butt's gonna get wet for sure. This is pretty much what we've been doing for the past three days. So we're at this park. If you live here, I'm sure you can tell what park it is. And so there's all the street parking. So we've just been parked on the street. And then we just sit outside. I bring a coffee and Dragon just pretends to hunt pigeons all day, catches bugs. All that the grass is still a little wet <laughs> so my butt's gonna ah! so my butt's gonna be kind of wet <laughs> Come on. 
Goodbye. Okay, so I've decided that I am going to leave Phoenix today. Um, I was able to get Dragon into the vet at home and we're gonna head back so we can get him acclimated. Like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet, made me whole again. You came in my life, I wanna see your face, never will I be. Same again <sighs> ah, We've been driving all day Come on dragon <sighs> I don't know how that thing ended up Just in the middle of the van But I've been driving all day This was a big driving day For us French braids are not flattering on my head shape. They never have ever in my whole life, but they're comfortable today, so. But anyways, um, when I don't have a destination in the morning, I look for kind of what I want to do and where I want to camp, right? And then I'll drive around, scope out the spots, whatever. Today I didn't do that, and um, but I knew what freeways I was taking, and so I looked and there's tons of spots on the freeway, so I thought, oh, I'll just drive till I get tired, or till before sunset, whatever. Right now it's 5.30, the sun's still out. And, um, but I was getting tired, so I started looking like for camp, like BLM land, because I wanted to still camp. You know, I'm in New Mexico. And so I thought, but this time I'm going up through Colorado and I thought, yeah, I'll just camp. I'm not in a hurry to get home, but yeah, anyways. And every spot I clicked on said it was closed um, due to COVID. So like BLM land and everything, forests, all that stuff. So I'm at a Walmart, which is fine because um, I can use the Wi-Fi. Was you know. all about that song had already been sung. I was going on, still minding my own business. Never knew the life had just begun. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet, and made me whole again. Swept me off my feet and made me whole again. 